right another tutorial here today i'm gonna be showing you how to make a like uh, how to make the character pop out of the screen like this uh you've probably seen some edits on it but i don't feel like there's a lot of videos out there i feel like it's kind of cool um but like make the character pop out of the screen like 3d like so i'm gonna try to do that to get started obviously you have your clip your twisted clip regular clip don't matter what it is you want to duplicate again it's a lot of masking i've done like three masking tutorials probably in a row but anyways uh so duplicate the top layer or the this layer the clip you're gonna make 3d and then you want to come to the rotor brush tool and double click the layer and from here you just want to mask the character out and if it tells you the frame mismatch um it's because this frame i use a twister through flow frame so the frame is going to be at 240 and it'll tell you to change it depend so here is kind of tricky just because like you don't really have to do like the whole body or like sometimes depending on your clip you don't have to do the full entire thing because here you can see like the upper body doesn't really need to be masked just the lower half and here the lower half doesn't need to be masked out just the top so just depending on your clip i would still just play it safe and just mask out the whole area that you want in in the clip so here let's mask out the character uh this this part's a little hard especially since it's like all almost one color so it's hard to find for the rotor brush but it does its job and try to get rid of this up here and try to add that yeah it's kind of hard and you kind of just want to go frame by frame i'm not going to do the whole frame by frame just because i've already done it um but i could show you the steps afterwards but yeah once you get everything masked out you just want to come to the beginning and then hit freeze uh make sure you hit freeze that's the important part and then you can just close this and then once you close that I'll go back to over here. So I'm going to come over here and just redo the scene I did originally. Uh, once you have it masked out and you can see it's masked, you want to add a solid layer. So control Y on your keyboard, change the color to black. So black, change that, delete the front and back part, the parts you're not going to use, and then add jaws, CC jaws, add that. And here you want to change this to around 80 or so. Uh, it just depends. You can go like 80 or even lower, like 65 and you want to change height to zero to get that black bars so from here you can you can go realistically you go like 100 percent go to the middle of the clip change this to however far you want the black bars it does not matter you can go as high as you want and as low as you want i'm um, gonna just go around 65 or 66 and then come to the end and change this to around 100 so yeah around 100 and you want to hit you on your keyboard drag this to the beginning hit f9 so that way we don't have this little i mean it looks cool but once you add the graph it's a lot better with this you want to highlight over the frame and pull this back and pull this forward and pull the other bottom half forward and then pull this back so now that we've done that we get this effect so now that we have that and you're wondering why the black bars not in between just drag this in between sandwich it you just sandwich it in between the layers and then you get this effect now to really add some flair to it you can hover over both of them hit s on your keyboard i already have them keyframed out here but um, at the beginning scale it at 100 so keyframe both of them at 100 go to the middle where the the keyframe is at on your uh solid layer hit u and then show that and then line it up with the scale and hit 110 110 to 115 um keyframe those and then go to the end and change it back to 100 uh, on the scale so it should be 100 110 100 and then once you have that you can highlight both of them hit the graph editor and you can highlight both of them and you can match them up so you just click on it and then just drag them and you can click on the other one and then you can just drag it forward and try to match it so you would just graph that out once it's graphed out you have something like this so you have that zoom in effect once you're done you can review the clip and then see the the way it is and and if you if you want to keep the black bars up for even longer you can just come over here delete this and you can just drag this over review the graph and you can do something like that and you get you get that so review and the black bars just stay you can pull that down more you can keep it like that or again you could just do it the original way i had it with the um the three so yeah short tutorial but i skipped all the masking part just because i already have it done and again it's not hard once you hit freeze you just do the same step it's not that difficult but that's how you do this cool 3d um like coming out of the screen effect